and I have a top three because I have four boys, so I have plenty of stories. So we'll start with um, number three, which is uh, my son um, was coughing in the morning. My middle son, Bryce, he was uh, like six. My eight-year-old turns to him and says, is it communicable? If it's not, you're okay. So he goes off to school. Six son stays home. Bryce is coughing. His little three-year-old brother starts coughing. Bryce turns to me and says, Mom, I think my cough communicated with me. Story number two. Um, we're driving in the car, and you know the kids are saying, how far is it? Are we there yet? Mom, is it close? And I say, and I didn't know. You know, In my mind, I'm thinking, not for me, those smarts, but um, they are there well, I'm not sure, I think like five more minutes. And my son Bryce turns to me, raises his eyebrow, and he's like, are those mommy minutes? And he coined a new term in our home, which I've been out of for mommy minutes, not the same amount of time as regular minutes. Story number one, my favorite, is uh, my oldest son, Jeffrey, has a hard time waking up. So I decide one morning, I get up, I go to the bathroom, I think, and there's no toilet paper. So I think, okay, maybe I can get him up this way. So I start calling out to him. Jeffrey, you have to get up because I need toilet paper. Nothing, nothing. It won't move anything. And um, so, I, so I take care of it and I think maybe I can still use the same tactic. I go up to him, I get right up to his face and I say, Jeffrey, sorry, I need toilet paper. Without even opening his eyes, completely deadpans, he goes, if you could make it to me, you can make it to the toilet paper. 